What is going on, everybody? I just wanted to take a little bit of your time to tell you guys about the Fossey Audio K5 Pro. Um, sorry, Fossey, that it's taking me so long to do this review. I've gotten busy with life, school, um, church, and just working full time. I've been meaning to get around to this, and I finally got the opportunity to do so. So let's talk about uh, a little bit about what this is. First and foremost, it is advertised as, as they're advertised as the home audio expert. And um, it, there isn't a whole lot around the box itself that tells what it is. Um, it does have a little contact information that I'll leave right up there for just a moment. If you guys wanted to contact them, reach out to them and... Um, of course, their website is fossiaudio.com. It's advertised that it's hi-fi made easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up this box. We're going to showcase some of the contents. And I will say that my that my male people are not gentle, so if the box looks a little beaten, that is why. Um, and also, before we dive in, we've got a 30-day return period. It's got an 18-month uh, warranty and uh, lifetime technical support. So for anybody that is not tech-savvy, that could be a very important thing. Let's take a look at the device itself. One of the things I do like about it is that it is quite small, as you can tell. Um, some of the things I don't like about it is it looks like it's got um, little older RCA jacks. It's got your standard yellow, red, and white. But it does, but it, it does also use um, a Type-C USB to power it, and it does also feature the um, fiber optic option in terms of audio. Let's take a look at the front. On the front, we've got three knobs. One is for bass, one is for treble, and then the other one is for your master volume. Now, I do find that useful. Um, it's also got a spot for your headphones and your microphone. In my case, I use a mixer that is XLR powered. I do have um, both a um, dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone. The condenser microphone has to be phantom powered. So one of the things I do want to test about this um, is will this essentially power that microphone without the use of a AA battery, because if it does, that's fantastic. I have a theory that that probably won't be the case, but I do want to give that a full test. Uh, one of the things that I want to use this for potentially is routing my Nintendo Switch to my computer using the ATEM Mini Pro and the Rodecaster Pro all together so that audio can still go to each system. I can control each piece independently, hopefully, and I can still enjoy being able to hear it while controlling what my streams do and do not hear. Um, we look inside the box. Of course, I showed you, showed you the um, device itself. We got a USB type A to USB type C connection. That is what will power it. This type A to type C connection, as I got ready to connect things, it's not exactly as it, as it appears. So of course I show you a, a type A to type C connection, but if you have a type C connector, this type A does detach. So essentially it has its own um, built in adapter. And what you end up with is a type C to type C. So if you have any open ports that uh, use a type C th that, and all your regular ones are used up, that is an option to do. And of course, some people just like the functionality of the type C a little better. It gives a little, um, in my opinion, a little cleaner option. It's um, you're gonna be able to plug it in the correct way the first time, every time as instead of, um, you know, doing one of these connect or 
and it didn't work, connect, and it didn't work, and then you're like, oh, I had it right the first time. Um, you'll just be able to get it the first time. Um, it does come with the, uh, the split connector that will allow you to do your microphone and your headphone into one 3.5 millimeter jack. So if you are using um, a headphone, for example, that has a microphone, but only one connection and it doesn't split, um, that is optional. Of course, as I pointed out, the device itself, if you do have one that splits, it can do those independently as well. And also inside the other side of the box is your fiber optic um, high res sound. Um, and then finally, we have the instruction pamphlet. And um, we will be getting this connected in a diff in a couple different configurations. And we'll kind of take a look at uh, what that looks like and how it sounds, how it functions. And guys, let me know what you think if you if you if this content has been helpful for you or you would like to see more. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments. Let me know how I did, uh, what I can improve on, uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, and all that. I did want to point out, in terms, if you look at the uh, pamphlet that I mentioned that came with it, um, right there, I do want to point out that it is uh, compatible with PC, Mac, both of the uh, latest PlayStations, and the Nintendo Switch, and phone. The one device I don't see on there is Xbox for anybody that is potentially an Xbox user. And in fact, right here, the K5 Pro does not currently support the latest greatest Xbox. So guys, if you are an Xbox user and you're looking to change your sound setup, this device is not going to be for you. But if you're you if you're a PlayStation user, a Switch user, or something along those lines, this just might be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and transition over to the device. It is hooked up to my computer. One of the things that uh, I noticed while um, connecting things, we have little lights here that tell what is connected to. Of course, this uh, this switch over here is model, uh, or excuse me, mode and volume, and uh, this is the only clickable button. Of course, you, you notice when I click it, it doesn't do anything, at least not initially. But if we press and hold, we get that little light right there, and we can uh, now we can click and toggle between each of those uh, different modes. Of course, I want mine on USB. All right, uh, so we've got a little music going here. I've got a bunch of headphones, but it does turn it up and down in my headphones. It does not seem to be All right, guys, I did test that in various configurations. I could not get any of the microphones with or without a battery to work, including the dynamic microphone. Um, I was using, just just so everybody can see, um, I was using an XLR to a 3.5 millimeter cable to try, to try to get that to work. I thought for sure I'd be able to do it without any issues with this microphone. I did expect that I would have issues with this one. And uh, in all three case scenarios, uh, this one with and without the battery, this one, which doesn't use a battery, um, doesn't require phantom power, I could not get any audio to come through there. Um, I know if I were a streamer, this is definitely not a device that I would be looking into, especially at the price point in which it's offered. If I was just looking for uh, 
signal amplification to make my audio sound better, this is something I could, I could consider. But again, for the price point that it currently sits at, my opinion is that there are better options. Um, I don't want to say anything negative because Fosse did um, provide this to me to review. But I, at the same time, I want to be transparent. I want to be honest. And uh, I want to give my opinions, good, bad, or in between. And there are some things that this one does, uh, that this particular device does very well. And then there are some areas where I personally feel that it is lacking. Um, I will leave it up to you guys as to what your case use is. Um, back to the um, fiber optics connection that is uh, that is going to go into your SPDIF. Um, so if you have one of those on your motherboard or you're using um, an Xbox or a PlayStation or, or some other piece of audio that uh, has a SPDIF uh, connection, this will help with that. And uh, I even attempted to use their splitter and uh, to connect this XLR 3.5 jack just to see if by chance that would work. Uh, I might continue to play around with it, see what I can get to do with it. Um, like I said, all in all, I don't think it's going to be good for my current case scenario, given um, given that um, how my setup routes, but it may be perfect for somebody else, and it's um, going to be a lot lower of a price point than what I presently use. So hopefully you guys have found this helpful. If you have, uh, consider uh, subscribing. Let me know what you thought, good, bad, or ugly. Um, just be kind in your feedback. Um, criticism is fantastic. It helps me to improve. Rudeness is, however, not. It doesn't uh, do much to help me improve. So if you guys have uh, feed feedback that is negative, let me know. That's okay. That's how I'm going to get better. Um, I want to give you guys the best uh, advice that I can give, the best reviews that I can give. I want to be as honest as it gets, good, bad, or somewhere in between. As this product uh, happens, it is somewhere in between. There are some things that I that I think it does very well and things that it doesn't. Um, Fossey, hopefully, hopefully you guys take this positively. Um, I think this is more geared towards somebody that would be using a headphone that's got a microphone. I think for that purpose, this device is probably perfect. Um, perhaps your console player that is uh, having issues with certain headsets being able to attach, this might be able to help fix that and mitigate any of those issues. Um, Again, I'm B. Gilbert. This has been helpful. Consider uh, subscribing and uh, follow me on all the social media places.